congratulations. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, so did you bring your medals with you? No. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you might be wearing them. Oh, no, oh, no they're just casually in the back pocket. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we go, look, there, look, that, look these are proper, yeah. proper Olympic medals. Yeah. Wow. Marion, have you seen an Olympic it's medal? I actually <laughs> did. Yeah. It was the French lads beat us. <laughs> or was it French people beat you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, the French got gold. We'll have to go so, after them, boys. Um, uh, is there anyone in Ireland who hasn't seen those medals? <laughs> they, look, they, look, they look like being round the block, those medals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. okay. They're fairly casual, yeah. And of course, uh, now, Michael, down in uh, Killarney, word must have reached you of the O'Donovan Brothers. Oh, for sure. I mean, I wasn't in Killarney at the time, but uh, everybody <laughs> knew about it. That's for sure, yeah. yeah. And uh, Marion, watching that clip, on the, could you understand the accents? Nothing, not a word. <laughs> I, underst I understood since. <laughs> Just that one. Oh. I was like, you know the movie set with Michael with his tick carry accent. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, because uh, the people people loved the interviews you did uh, during the Olympics. But like, you guys knew you were being funny while you were doing the interviews. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think it was funny because they were being themselves. Yeah. Okay. Well, to be fair, we weren't trying well, we weren't to be trying serious, to, yeah. like, but yeah. it just, yeah. You did just kind of happened that way, like, You yeah. did seem very well, happy to be in Rio. Yeah. I was quite serious about the whole situation, though. Everything we told is the truth, like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to understand, like, people ask us these questions all the time after races. It just so happened they put a camera in front of us in Rio. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you won a silver medal, so suddenly but everyone yeah, was yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah. But, but this is, but the great thing is, this is, like, Ireland has never won any medal in rowing before, have they? Well, no, not at the Olympics, not no, they have a few World Championship yeah, titles, yeah. all right, but yeah. it's the, the first Olympic medal, yeah. Woohoo! Very <laughs> <laughs> good! Um, and the interview where you talked about your approach to the race, uh, the phrases you used in that, so explain to the people what you, what you said in that. Do, do you know, know which one? Yeah. About going A to B fast as you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tis, a, tis a fairly simple sport, like. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, there's a start line and a finish line. And you walk on the... Quite complicated here. Yeah. People do complicated like. Your, yeah. your man says go at the start and there's a hooter at the finish and if you can get from <laughs> go to the hooter then... Come on, bullshit like. Yeah. <laughs> and then this thing about uh, closing your eyes and pull like a dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that yeah. phrase, who came up with that? That was Paul. That was my, yeah. Is pull like a dog, <laughs> is that a phrase? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is now apparently. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Because it's, yeah. it's everywhere now in Ireland. Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like you'd be walking down the street there in, in Dublin or somewhere and the village showed across yeah. the road, you're like, pull like a dog. Pull like a dog, yeah. Bit stiffer. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> outside <laughs> it. Lads would be encouraging inside in a nightclub. <laughs> Close your eyes and pull like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a member of your desired sex tell you to pull like a dog? <laughs> 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 the questions are getting harder now. <laughs> but um, but wasn't there a guy came up to you in a in a? That's right. Some fella came up to Paul inside in a, a nightclub in Skibbereen, like, and he had a, what tattoo? Yeah, a like right, proper like ink tattoo, like cross his full forearm, saying "pull like a dog." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was nuts, like. So, yeah. yeah. He, fair, he may live to, to regret him, that. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Probably wanking away at her. <laughs> <laughs> It's just as well. It's just as well. You're missing nothing. <laughs> so now we've got a picture of you. This is this is the the day you came back to Skibbereen. Yeah. Uh, so like, I mean, an amazing. Event, cause... Yeah. Because if, if you haven't been to Skibbereen, a lot of people won't have been to Skibbereen. You know, it's not a big town. How no, many people? There's a in small little town. The population is about 1,500 people, and um, they're saying there was about 15,000 turned up to the homecoming. So. <laughs> The town wasn't crazy, like, yeah. And, and presumably, you're never going to have to buy a drink again. Ah, it depends, like. I know, you would. <laughs> I don't know, you're, they're at home, you're just, we're the same two fellas, like, down in Skibbereen, and they'd have no respect for anything down there, like. <laughs> it's silver medal, there's nothing, so. I don't know you. Yeah, no, yeah, we get charged away in Skibbereen anyway, it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I suppose, because, you know, sport is a lot of discipline, a lot of training, and 
now that there's kind of all the kind of the fun side of things, the you know, traveling around, you know, people recognize you, moving yeah. up to your nightclubs. The Grim Narcan Show, that kind of stuff. Exactly. Look at <laughs> now. And uh, so, is it going to be harder to kind of get back in the boat? I don't know, it's insane. It's like to, you just put the boat down the water. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <sit in. laughs> uh, uh, well, I do find blocking the way. Sometimes we just ask them to move out the way. And, you know. <laughs> now, one of the things you can do is you can conjure up uh, people's fears. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you, you're afraid of quite basic things. You I'm yourself. afraid of like most things, like anything high risk. I'm terrified of. But, but those are rational fears. Okay, irrational is like spiders, because but they actually, um, I become paralyzed when I when I have a spider in my room. Really? Yeah. I like wish I were tougher than that, but I'm not. Okay. <laughs> now, Mark Ruffalo, were you serious when you told us what your fear is? I mean, it is. A, it's a good fear. It's, I think it's a founded fear. I think it's a founded fear. It is. Tell us what it is. Um, I have a phobia of being chased around with poop on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say... I'd say we've all got that fear. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one that goes, it, no, I'm up for that. It, <laughs> it started when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> With this weird it's parenting. <laughs> For some reason, kids thought it was funny to stick a stick in dog poop and chase each other around with it. <laughs> but that scared the crap out of me. Because of the cleanliness problem of it? Like no, because it's Spreading germs? <laughs> it just does poop. Because he's afraid of sticks. <laughs> but now, Jeremy Renner, though, yours is brilliantly specific, and I think we... It is. I, without it is. knowing it, I think we probably all share it. We, we may. I don't know. I, I didn't have the, the fear when I was younger because we've all we all go through this. But it's when uh, a little child and I'm the, I'm the oldest of seven kids and I got a lot of little rugrats running around and they, these little roaches start losing their teeth and they get a little wiggly and they like to show me like this little dagger flipping in and out of their mouth and like look Uncle Jeremy I want to pull this thing out. I'm like I get out of here. You're freaking me out. <laughs> but don't you think that is really freaky? Are you? you it's like I mean, her thumb. <laughs> it's just really yeah. it again. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 It just, it just really yeah. kind of grosses me out. The cutest little thing on the planet starts to do like the creepiest thing on the planet. And I'm like, get out of here. It's like, here, tie the string to my thing to the doorknob. I'm like, get out of here, creep. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting animal. Oh, yeah, this That's huh? now. No! <laughs> now. <laughs> little ones running around, flipping their little fake, their teeth falling out. Look, we all have this, you know, when you're, you're, you have the dreams, your teeth fall out. I don't know what it means. Does anybody know what it means? We get bigger ones. No, we have bad dreams. We have... Oh. Am I the only oh. one that has bad no, dreams? No, a friend of mine. A friend of mine does have that dream too. I yes. had, just a friend of yours. Yeah, not me. Not what does you? that mean? I think that's I don't know. something to do with fear know, of this money. Is fear of money, I think. I think that's what the teeth falling. Who has fear out. of money? <laughs> maybe I'm, afraid maybe of I'm just afraid of my teeth fucking falling out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, Josh, what have you got fear? What are you afraid of? Well, I was gonna go with flying, but I think I'll go with, um... Girls shit. over 12? <laughs> the last minute of my life, I wouldn't have predicted that. <laughs> How was it? Mark Ruffalo. You're not going to believe what he said to me. <laughs> but he was bang on the money. <laughs> oh, He's a very oh, perceptive man. <laughs> oh. It was the Dora poem. <laughs> Don't try and justify it. <laughs> Do you know what? I've always hated the Hulk. He's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him angry. Yeah, you would like me when I'm angry, Ruffalo. <laughs> I, my son said that to me the other day when he was mad at me. Oh, no. What, that you wouldn't like him? I always hated the Hulk. I think he's shit. <laughs> and you just told him that he was afraid of girls over 12. 
<laughs> for him, that would be okay. <laughs> He's a child. <laughs> Let's get started if we... Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 thank you. You can do it, ready? Cheers. Cheers. One, two, three. Don't do this at home. Don't do this oh, at home. God. <laughs> oh, that oh. ginger ale is crazy. <laughs> and I stumbled across a show called Embarrassing Bodies. Have you heard of this? I don't know this show. And yeah. the episode I saw is all about penises. <laughs> and there were close ups of penises that had problems. For that had problems? <laughs> I was absolutely shocked. I couldn't <laughs> believe these people actually decided to go on the show yep. and showcase their embarrassing people. Yep. Can I show you something I'm really embarrassed about? <laughs> <laughs> it is so weird. Uh, did you watch Downton before? No, my wife is <clears throat> an addict. And by addict, I mean like a crack addict. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a problem. We were supposed to start the show together and I came to bed one night and she said, I've just watched six of them. And she was like, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> because she wanted to see the seventh and she didn't want to go back to the first. You know, and so she's done the whole thing and, and, I'm, and I'm on my own. So I will watch Down Abbey because yeah. I love you, but uh, I'm going to have to find time somehow to do that. I was very excited. Harry, and you're so incredibly famous. You imagine you won't get starstruck when you meet people, but you did. Is it the director, the famous director, M. Night? Oh, yes, M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan, that's yes. what I say, yes. Yes, well, I have a story about M. Night Shyamalan. Do you guys know who that is? Yeah. The guy who directed Sixth Sense? Yeah. Uh, it, and in this story, I drop a few names, so I apologize in advance for this. Okay. But about 15 years ago, when The Sixth Sense came out, Bruce Willis won the People's Choice Award for Best Actor, and he asked me to present the award to him, so I did. And I went backstage that night, and I met... Haley Joel Osment from the movie, and I met M. Night Shyamalan. And about six months later, I was at this bar, this is back when I was drinking, and I was with a couple of friends, and M. Night Shyamalan walked in. And he said, hi, Matthew. And I went, oh my god, hi, how are you? Please sit down, join us. And he sat down and he joined us, and we sat there for about an hour talking, and I noticed my friends sort of filtered out, and then it was just me and M. Night Shyamalan for about another hour, and I noticed we weren't talking about show business or anything. We were just kind of talking about women and love and loss and life and all that. And he mentioned that there was another club opening across town and would I like to go with him? And I said, sure, I'd love to go with you. And I had this weird moment, which I never had, have had before, where I was convinced that I was gonna be a big movie star as a result of this night. <laughs> because he was laughing at all my jokes. He really was sort of into me. I think he might have been a big Friends fan. He was really liking me. Yeah. And so we get to the next place, and I felt comfortable enough, sort of drunk enough, to say, we should work together sometime. And he kind of went like this. <laughs> and I remember going, oh, I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> and then he went to the bathroom, and a friend of mine came up to me and said, uh, how's your night going? And I said, what are you kidding? I'm having the greatest night of my life. M. Night Shyamalan and I have been hanging out for the last two and a half hours. It's been great. And the guy, M. Night Shyamalan, came back from the bathroom, and my friend said, that's not M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> it was just an Indian gentleman <laughs> who looked a lot like a nice <laughs> And I had said to him, let's work together. <laughs> and it turned out he was a maitre d' at a local restaurant. <laughs> Have you ever seen him again since? No, but I've seen the guy and we always look at each other like jilted lovers. <laughs> When I turned 40, I was offered three witches in one year. Well. And it was sending me a signal, I felt, <laughs> about Hollywood and how they felt about people turning 40. You know? <laughs> so I felt uh, bad. And, I, I, and it made me sort of, I had a, like a little 
my backup, you know. And so, no, I didn't want to play them. So a lot's <laughs> changed in the last five years for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. good, yeah. Mom. Good. I was looking I for an excuse all night. Oh, yeah. That was so wow. smooth, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> so smooth. It never works like that. <laughs> and it, now, here's the thing. You're on stage in the West End, and obviously people come to see you, and you get confident, you get nervous. But do you get nervous when your family come? Because they... They don't sugarcoat what they think, do they? No, they... they uh, my family, they... They're very really supportive, but they don't feel the need to, you know, if it, they don't like something or they weren't that impressed or they were a bit bored, they'll say. <laughs> <laughs> for example, when I did Made in Dagenham, it was a huge deal for me because I'm not really a singer and I'd been practicing. And my mum came and she went, hmm, the voice has gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in a way, it's... She's, should she really like, yeah, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> because Miriam, now you do. I'm guessing you don't sugarcoat things. Do you get starstruck when you meet I, people? I do sometimes. I do sometimes. I remember when I was young, I, and I met Laurence Olivier. Wow. That was. Uh, I, I used to collect autographs at the stage door. You know, and uh, mm -hmm. he came out, and I remember so distinctly that I started to cream in my knickers. I could. <laughs> I could feel it. I could actually. I don't think I've ever been more uncomfortable in my life. <laughs> I think that's the worst moment of my life. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it can only get better, so. Well, that's a lovely story, Miriam. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I, I think that's in the compilation. That's... that's great. <laughs> That's no, it's a, it's a, it's a, no, no greater compliment, Miriam. Uh, yes, I think we should all get fans out now. But you, you know, as Tom was saying, you know, I think a lot of young actors they, you know, they revere you, so they they look to you. But the other thing you inspire is impressions. People doing impressions. Now, when people do impressions of you, is it like sort of nails on a chalkboard, or do you kind of enjoy it? No, I, I kind of enjoy it, especially if they do it well. <laughs> uh, so, no, I, I, it's, it's great. It's, it's, I love it. I only ask! <laughs> <laughs> no, because, because uh, any Hiddlestoners watching will know, uh, Tom Hiddleston does impression. You do impression a lot of people. So who is in your canon? <laughs> <laughs> it's a... It's a Expression of admiration, just to be clear. Um, yeah. So I do, I do uh, <laughs> impressions of people that I, I admire and I sort of listen to them. I, I, the first time I did an impression um, that anyone was aware of, I was just telling a story about Midnight in Paris, the Woody Allen film I was in, and how I'd never read the whole script and, and I thought it was set in the 20s. And um, I turned up and I bumped into Owen Wilson, who didn't look like he was in the 20s at all. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I said to him, I said, so wait, hang on, who are you playing? Because I'm playing F. Scott Fitzgerald and I know... Corey Stoll's playing Ernest Hemingway, and we're all playing figures of history, and he went, Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm from now. I go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's a time machine. And, uh, <laughs> it's kind of it's cool, and it's kind of woody, and you just kind of... It's kind of awesome. Uh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> but, uh, I've done... I've done... I mean... I've done... I've been made to do impressions of my fellow Avengers, um... Uh, I think everyone does an impression of Christopher Walken because he's just he's such an easy kind of... <laughs> you know, I feel like what this show needs is more cowbell. Uh, it depends on what you like me to say. <laughs> Basically, there's no punctuation. <laughs> anything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, I like that. I know whole pages of heat. You surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I, there's this there's a scene in the middle of the film which you'll be familiar with. You were there. <laughs> the one person you don't need to explain it to. <laughs> so look, there's, there's, there's a scene. <laughs> he, he, he remembers. You're very good in this. He bit. remembers. <laughs> there's a scene in the, in the middle of the film which is because uh, because uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. <laughs> He's there. Sorry about this. Don't worry. They're, they're, they're separated, like a great thriller, they're separated from, for the entire film and they meet twice, once at the end and once in the middle. And it takes place at a restaurant in LA. It's a great scene. It's one of the great pieces of screen acting you can hope to watch. There it is. It's, there's a picture of it. It's like a, it's a mutual recognition of each other. Anyway, so there's a bit where they, ha like, they sit and have coffee and have tea and talk about stuff. I'm going on, I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Al Pacino at one point, Al, Al Pacino says this, he goes, uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, uh, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. If I'm there <laughs> and I gotta put you away, I won't like it. But if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, Brother, you are going down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and so then, and then it cut, and then Michael Mann cuts back to the esteemed gentleman at the end of the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> what if you do got me boxed in? I'm not gonna put you down. We've been face to face. Yeah, but I will not hesitate. Not for a second. That's my. Hey. Oh. <laughs> this is so. This is so meta. <laughs> I feel like I've gone into a parallel universe where um, I, 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 you're I, playing all these. Parts. Yes, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah. No, I did the impression of Ken Branagh. That was my favorite scene. In the was movie. it your favorite scene? Yeah. It's a Still? Great... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but my favorite scene that was written before, yeah. not because of or doing it, but I just my favorite scene written in the yeah. film. You know, that, that it's a great piece great. of writing. Yeah, yeah. Great... it feels like it plays in two in two singles in a way. Like yeah, it just, yeah, and it, yeah. And it's it's like a, the most beautiful game of tennis. Did you um, each yeah. do lots of takes? Did you do lots of takes? I forget or... how many takes we did. I don't think we did more than Five to eight or nine at the yeah. most, maybe, maybe less. I, I and you talk about your dreams and you talk about your life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's so oh, great. It's so great. There's that bit, another bit where you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you say, he says, uh, he says, uh, Pacino says, so you never wanted a regular type life. <laughs> and and uh, Bob, may I call you Bob? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bob says, um, what's that? Barbecues and ball games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is based on your life. I mean, this is things. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> loosely, Graham. No, but things like isn't the washing machine that happened to you? What? The the washing. You were very hungover. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell Tony Foster that story. <laughs> <laughs> All their stories are really cool, though, Graham. When I was teaching, <laughs> which is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother, and then I went back, and while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back, and on the, on the Sunday night, I got really drunk. Uh, and then I, I went for a curry, and then the next day I went into school. <laughs> I'm going to. I went into school, and it was a school in Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing-impaired department, so there were he hearing-impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. Mm. They, were, they were really looked after in the school. Anyway, I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> so I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> had got mixed up in the wash she'd done. 
and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is <laughs> such a low point, you fucking loser. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then... The curry and the booze... <laughs> the curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. <laughs> so I... I, I did, like, a faecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> and I started, I started going, oh, God, not this, not this as well. Oh, Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um, classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids just looking at me like this. <laughs> and that's when I remembered that my, I had a microphone directly... <laughs> So maybe man down isn't that far fetched. Right? <laughs> the other thing that, that links our characters, everyone started very young. Now, Ben, the last time you were here, yes. uh, we enjoyed very much uh, your early work on yes. Voyage of the Mimi. Yes. Uh, we're not going to show any more, Thank but you. do Google it because it is worth seeing. <laughs> oh, look at that slide. Oh, <laughs> what's, he, what's, what's he got cooking? <laughs> that is very good listening face, very good interested listening face. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me more. That is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, seriously, you really need to Google it. Uh, uh, and Sienna, you started... Was it modelling you started? You were quite young when you started modelling. I was just short, and so... I, no, I mean, yes, but not, like, proper. <laughs> <laughs> not like that either. No, well, I just what's improper really... modelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should we just draw a veil? I, uh, did, I did a bit. Yeah. Yes. And then Emma, you did some extraordinary work as a child actor. I mean, take this Meryl Streep. Oh, look God. at that! Oh, yeah, what is that? What that is, is that? genius. Is that prosthetics? <laughs> That's amazing. That's the princess in the pea. I did a kind of Edgar G. Robinson thing where I was like, oh, kind of a It's genius. It's genius. Uh, but tonight, with La La Land in mind, we are going to focus on the early dancing career of Mr. Ryan Gosling. Oh, oh wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Now, it makes sense that the only video you have tonight is, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. is this. So right. the dance troupe you were in, can you tell us about Because apparently, Young dancers, they could be qu quite vicious. It's a cutthroat business. <laughs> and I uh, had to get out. <laughs> I, I was on some kind of a Canadian star search, and uh, I somehow made it to the finals. And uh, my main competition were these two uh, twins who were tap dancers, and they were dancing to Phil Collins' uh, Two Hearts. Ooh. And they had big heart-shaped bows, and they were just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were the ones to beat, so <laughs> I remember, uh, you know, wishing them luck and going on stage and I was getting ready to start. I was dancing the uh, Everybody Dance Now by CNC Music Factory, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to start, which is This Is How You Started. A winning dance number, if you want to know. Get out of your hands, bud. Go ahead, go up. And I, and I look up, up, up into the, into the uh, just off stage and the, the two twins are standing there like the twins from The Shining. <laughs> And they're just going like this. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, all right, this now, means war. So I, I just shimmied my way all the way to, <laughs> to that trophy, to that tiny little trophy. <laughs> no, because I, I was going. Is this the same troop? I was going to say it's an all, it's an all girl troop, but obviously it's not. You're in it. Right. But, but you, you, you are. Thank you. But you are the only nice boy. <laughs> In it. Yeah, that was the. Was that the? That was the point. That I was think. the gimmick. They let me dance there for free because I was a guy. Because if you had a guy, you you would win. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so are you are you ready to see the the, the, the dance stylings? Uh, I believe you're dancing to Kathy Dennis's classic "Touch Me." <laughs> um, uh, did the troupe have a name, Ryan? It was Elite Dance Studio. <laughs> in, uh... Uh, and how old are you in this one? Old enough to know better. <laughs> uh, enjoy.
I, I wish I could say someone said, here, you have to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my idea. I thought, I have a vision for this number. It's, it's purple and silver hammer pants. They are br the silver hammer pants are... I don't oh, think we, no we, we gave them enough of a shot. We gave up with hammer, but I, don't, I think we should, we should have kept them going. We didn't give, no? Yeah, right. They may You'll come back. Part out. They may come back. <laughs> nearly finished. We have I don't to. know. Are we? I mean, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we hope so. I You've been filming since when? Last, <laughs> last year. Last March or April. Yeah, last, I mean, so it's nearly yeah, a year. year. Yeah. yeah so you year. must be nearly finished. It's because I broke you're... my ankle. We had to shut down. But we're well, about now, six weeks away. The ankle. This is the. Yeah. <laughs> so are you fully recovered? Are you well? It's still broken, but I'm doing well. No, you're kidding. Is it still broken? Yeah. I mean, it's not fully healed, but we're shooting. But that's nuts, because we've seen no, we've seen a picture of you. You're running and doing know, all this stuff I again. Know, I yeah. Know. Now, but it'll, we have a release date, so we got to keep going. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll end up going live yes. on the night. <laughs> 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 it's much better. It's much better. <laughs> so, uh, are you, you probably, I'm sure you all saw the the footage in in it was on the papers and things on online of the accident. Yes, yes. And I think we all kind of thought, well, how did you break an ankle doing that? Because it looked like you should have broken your jaw or something like that. I know everyone. <laughs> said that was the stunt I mean I'm gonna run across and hit the side of the wall and then pull myself over that wasn't the mistake so you were always meant to not yes land on the roof always. okay so and what you've done is you brought us some footage mm -hmm. I think this is so cool to see this from the different angles this is what I I yeah. can't watch this most of it's fine there's one clip but I will we'll warn, warn you, you it's not for the squeamish Gross. so okay. you see I'm wearing two wires they're basically just safety wires because I'm, I go at a full tilt and I'm sprinting as hard as I can, and I hit the side of the wall, and I, that's the stunt. I, mean, I hit the side of the wall, and then I'm chasing after Henry, actually. And uh, <laughs> I hit the side of the wall. All his fault, I blame him. <laughs> I hit the side of the wall, and then I, I climb up on the wall, and I'm supposed to run past Kevin. Okay, so we've got, uh, this is the shot from behind you. So this yes. is, you see the, the speed and the momentum of the run. And it's in London, there we go. So it's keeping me up. Okay, so here he goes, look at that. Whoa, and whoa! <laughs> Now, it's good noise, everybody. <laughs> but, that, but, that, but you get my point that you think, how did you break a leg? So let's look at yes. it from the side. Oh, no, this, this is it from the side. <laughs> oh, no. no, 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 this isn't the bad one. This isn't the bad one, Rebecca. So this is from the side. Here we go. We shot it with three cameras. Oh, my okay, gosh. here he goes, and boom! <laughs> now, now we've got a camera which focuses on the foot. Now, if you are squeamish, <laughs> don't watch, don't it. watch this. Because <laughs> it still hasn't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Try to show it to me, and I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, a bone doesn't pop out or anything, but it is an odd angle for anyone's foot to be. Nobody's foot horrendous. should ever have to do this. Yeah, ever. here we go. Here we go. Here oh we go. my gosh! So he jumps. That speed, that momentum. Here we go. Look the at. And now watch that. Watch this. <laughs> But here, here is why, here is why Tom Cruise gets paid the big bucks, okay? Because this is it from the front angle, okay? So you've just seen what's happened to his foot. Now watch this. I knew I broke it instantly. So you're down. Now anyone else would go, well, that's over. No. <laughs> up he gets, up he gets, and he's running. <laughs> People do impressions of people do impressions of you, don't they? Very the... rarely. Yeah. Very rarely. Yeah. What, 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 am I in your canon? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I haven't. It's like I always. I feel like I, I wouldn't be able to do it until I met you, but I have. Do you want me to? Do it? You clearly. You clearly. Go, John. Go. <laughs> I don't know. So I can I have the cards. I need the cards. Okay. <laughs> you can have an well, old. No, card. don't worry. You can have an old card. There's an old a card. card. <laughs> right, there you go. There you go. So, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> um, so, so you, so you, you've never been on the show. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if I've ever had. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah. I, I, I feel your pain, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> first time. There's only a first time for everything. Now, but impressions are a thing that actors do. Like, he, he, Kenneth Branagh, you do an impression. Uh, I do a bad impre impersonation uh, of Sir Ian McKellen. Um, uh, Ask Gandalf. <laughs> uh, 
You shall not pass. <laughs> Wem non crem non flem nom and dang dong. You will not pass. <laughs> Wing dong bang dong column and golem. <laughs> you shall definitely not pass. That's right. That's right again. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think you'd be flattered by I that. Don't, <laughs> I don't do an impression of Ian McKellen, but I was in uh, Waitrose, the supermarket here, and uh, they have those self-service uh, checkouts. So I was at the other checkout, and Ian McKellen, I said hello to him earlier, he was wandering around with a basket, and I was chewing it. And then just from over in the self-service area, you just heard this booming voice going, It's in the bag! <laughs> I've been waiting for a moment to wear this. <laughs> Tonight was we, the night. We bought it today, and you know they don't come in men's sizes? <laughs> they actually do. They're available at any decent store in men's sizes. <laughs> 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 now, have you got... Obviously, you're a fan of the One Direction, I can see, but has One Direction met Ian McKellen? Is Ian McKellen One Direction before? I thought he'd have a bigger beard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you let down. Yeah. No, but didn't you come close to meeting in New Zealand? We, we did, were, yeah. yeah. we were on tour in um, oh, New Zealand, yeah. and they were filming. Yes. And, and you were meant time. to come and see us filming we were uh, just trying, the yeah. day after your final concert. So I thought I'd go and have a look at them, see who they are. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very he's small... He's a wizard, so I think he wins. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very small show. I mean, it was just you, no, no fireworks or anything, but and a, a, quite a small theatre, do you remember? A, yeah, yeah. Cinema. Back in the day. Yeah. Anyway, they didn't turn up the next day to visit us, because why? I don't know. Why? What, what had happened on your last night? Um, <laughs> I think we... I don't know. I don't think... I, don't I mean, know. maybe. <laughs> we're on the water tonight, though, yeah. so yeah. we're safe. Yeah. Your, your plane uh, might have been moved uh, early or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Ian McGowan, because I saw the pictures of, of you all at the premiere on Monday night. Oh, yes. And, I mean, it's been part of your life for nigh on 14 years I now. Know. So, it must, was that an emotional night, or were they, had the emotions happened already? Yeah, well, it's over, you know. We're not, not, we've not been working on The Hobbit for some time now, but I, it was very moving. I mean, you go, and these kids have been sleeping out all night. Well, you know about this, but the... the, the, the we did. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them get in. We did. We're all homeless. <laughs> <laughs> the, these... Uh, People were not born when we started making uh, Lord of the Rings, you know. So it's, it's a big part of their lives, and that's that's very, very sweet, isn't it? And they'll be able to see all, all six movies now and show them to their kids. God, and that, that's what's nice. We've made classics. That's lovely. And, and also, it will take nearly a day to watch it. It's so. <laughs> <laughs> but it can be done. <laughs> have you have you done it? Yeah, I think I did. It. I was off school ill once. I think I did um, with my friend. I think did we you? watched them. Um, yeah. But all I mean, the we might have watched one or two, <laughs> or three, or da, da, da. you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right answer. So are you. <laughs>